Homes are changing and so is Mastercam. So let's find out some of the features of Mastercam 2026. Mastercam 2026 has so many different products, but today Dave here is going to cover two of them in a little bit more detail, probing and deburring. Right, yes. Dave, let's talk probing. Why did you develop this? Probes are very popular these days. They're on more and more machines, and it's a very manual experience programming them. We wanted to bring them into the more natural process of programming a part, just like toolpaths. So now people can program toolpaths, they can program probing operations, all in a single part file uh, with no manual writing of code. So we've covered some of the benefits, but what partners are you working with? What brands? Uh, we're supporting, for a short list, like Renishaw, we're supporting Bloom, uh, Novatest, Heidenheim, and we're always looking to support more as we move forward. Right, okay, and tell me about some of the capabilities and the benefits then to the end user. Yes, so Mastercam probing can be used to uh, simply pick up your workpiece uh, to set up work offsets. You can pick up like the center of a boss, an edge, corners. Uh, you can use it for collision detection uh, and tool breakage. Uh, if it detects tool breakage, we can support uh, triggering an alarm. Um, we can support mid-cycle uh, verification, so if there are critical dimensions mid-cycle, you could program, for example, a bore and check that diameter, make sure it's accurate before you move on, and even ask it to take action if it's not. Okay, so talk, let's talk end users. What, what were the problems or people were having before where you go, no, use this, this is the solution? So the product will output easy to understand NC code, and it's using cycles and macros that are already in a user's control. Without Mastercam probing, it's still a manual experience that's either conversational at the control to program the probe, or they will handwrite code to program the probe. So we're trying to bring it into the modern CAM system so that it's an experience similar to creating toolpaths. Okay, let's talk deburring now. Why have you deburring. developed this product? Yes, I love deburring. Uh, <laughs> that's a statement yeah, in itself. It, it's, so, again, we're trying to automate something that we found to be very uh, manual in the industry. So the, our deburring technology is bringing the act of deburring parts and treating edges, like forming rounds and chamfers, into the cam system. And what issues were people having then before? Well, manual deburring means you're either going to use hand tools on the machine to take the burrs off of an edge, yeah. or you're going to attempt to, to manually form chamfers on a part. Uh, those parts might have to come off the machine, go to a different department, yeah. and all of that is time consuming and it, it can be dangerous. There's so many different variables though. When you're taking a component off of the machine, yes. of things that can go wrong, so it's almost like that in process, it's stable, stabilizing a process. Yes, and you're introducing humans and, and you're introducing <laughs> human error potentially as well. Uh, if we can keep the part on the machine, and we can output code with certain uh, tool shapes, we could form very accurate sharp corners and very accurate chamfers. Okay, tell me about some of the features then. So the, the toolpath is capable of supporting uh, ball end mills, chamfer end mills. We can support undercut tools, like undercut chamfers, like dove mills, uh, lollipop tools, undercut ball nose. Um, it can take a single swipe to form a chamfer, a very accurate chamfer. It can take a single swipe to form a simple sharp edge like for the purposes of deburring. Um, it can also take multiple passes to actually mill large chamfers, and it can even mill uh, round fillets on convex corners. Okay, let's talk precision and accuracy then as well, yes. because it's got to work alongside yes, the precision yes. of a component. Yes, precision and accuracy. Um, so the manual process, uh, you can't, it's not going to be precise, it's not going to be accurate. Sometimes a chamfer is a critical function on a part and you have to respect the print. The print's calling it out to be a specific size, so you've got to machine that. Um, deburring is simply, the part is calling for sharp edges, but I have rough burrs on the edges. So it's not critical for the function of the part, but it sure would be nice to run along that sharp edge with a tool and form the, the most precise sharp edge you can form as opposed to trying to just simply manually you know, grind or file that edge. Why, on a personal level, do okay. you think Mastercam 2026 is so successful or will be successful? What is it about it? Well, it's hard to pinpoint any one or two things. I'll say um, we're always listening to our customers. We're always 
watching what the industry is doing, and we've, we've made so many small changes in the software, it's hard to pinpoint any one thing. In my opinion, it's, it's our best expression out there today, and it's representing you know, our, our, our best attempt at providing what the industry needs and what our customers need, and, and that's all we try to do every year. Absolutely, thank you Dave, thank there you, you have it. Deburring and probing with Mastercam 2026.